Hi everybody, Fred Eckert with Chicago Title. A lot of people ask me about tax sales, buying tax defaulted property uh, because people have defaulted on their taxes. So um, I'm going to give you a little primer on this. This is going to apply primarily to Southern California. However, what I'm going to say will apply probably throughout most of the country, but you need to check your own county, check with your county tax assessor, recorder, clerk, or tax collector, and go on the web, take a look at it there. But I will say this, this is the biggest key for all of this is caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. Now, what happens with, with the tax sale? Well, I'm going to give you the Southern California one. In fact, the auction, the next auction for uh, Southern California and San Diego is going to be March 18th. And you want to check your own to make sure you know what the dates and so forth are. Um, plenty of information is available at the San Diego site, which is sdtrej, T-R-E-A-S, tax.com. You take a look at it and you'll find the information the property list and so forth. So what happens in one of these? Well, uh, in uh, California, a borrower has until 5 p.m. on the last working day prior to the sale to redeem the property. And what they have to do is if they're going to try to redeem it, they have to pay the uh, back taxes and they also have to pay the cost of the sale. They can do that basically with cash or a cashier's check or a money order or traveler's checks. They can't just give a regular check at that point if it's within 30 days. If it's outside of 30 days, they can use a regular check. Now, what does that mean to you? Could you go down and bid in these properties? Yes, but I'm going to go back to the idea of caveat emptor. Take a careful look, whatever state you're in, whatever county you're in, take a look at the property. Here's where a title company like ours can help. We can give you a plat map. We can give you comps. We can give you the current vesting deed. We can look for any recorded easements. Um, that's probably about the limit. We can look for if there's any other taxes that might be owing, such as Mella Roos. Now, here's the key. Easements are important because there might be easements that pro, you know, um, prohibit you from using the property. The property may be dedicated to some other purpose, like for a street or road widening or something. You want to make sure of that. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that there's not other taxing agencies who have agreed maybe to the sale but are not agreeing to take a loss on there. So you want to make sure that you know if there's other taxes owing. Melarus comes to, for example, uh, in California, we have Melarus, uh, might be a uh, possibility in other parts of the country also. So take a look at all of that. So can you bid in the property? Yes. Uh, what happens when you get the property? Will title insure that? Well, what we'll do is after one year, the reason for that one year, even though the right of redemption for the borrower in California expires, as I mentioned, uh, just prior to the sale, the reason for that one year is there have been cases where borrowers have uh, successfully claim that they weren't notified, they didn't know, that something was an error, and in those cases those have been overturned. So that's why the one year. Now will we insure at that point? We'll take a look at the property, we'll um, evaluate it, and if it can be insured, we will insure it at that point. So what you want to remember is that that's not something you necessarily have to have an escrow for. You just would contact us and say, I have this property, I bought it at this tax sale, it's been a year, I'd like to get it insured. Uh, and I think that's a great way to do it. You want to have property uh, with title insurance, I think, and most you, you'll see now with the foreclosure situation, we have a lot of uh, emphasis was put on title companies, and in fact, the strength of title companies, and Chicago Title, we are the largest in the nation. So are there other things that you might want to know about? Yes, in, in depending on where you're going to be bidding, you're going to have to register, you're going to have to have um, be able to pay for the, the property at the time of sale. In San Diego, in fact, if it's over $5,000, you can have a basically an agreement with the county that says you'll pay a minimum amount and then pay the rest later on. So you can have that agreement with them. But you want to check for your own particular county, wherever that is, check that and make sure that you know all the rules and the regulations and so forth. I want to make sure that you have information regarding the tax sales. Uh, again, check your state, check your county, and make sure that you contact uh, the right people. Maybe it's our title company, maybe it's uh, somebody else you work with that you trust, an attorney in some of those attorney states. But definitely Caveat emptor, I'm going to repeat that once again. Just make sure that it's buyer beware. Now, last thing. Uh, if you're in Southern California in particular, but even if you're in other states, we're having a contest at my company for winning an iPad, and I would certainly love to win that. And if you are inclined to, and you can, if you can give me a referral for a, a title, an escrow, a buy, somebody buying, somebody selling, somebody refinancing, all of that counts. So I will have my contact information on this video. Please contact me if you have questions about what I've uh, you know, stated in, in this um, video, but also if you have questions about the contest. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Make it a great day, and just be careful when you're buying a tax sale. It's the same with you're buying a trustee sales. I do have a video on 
buying a trustee sales also because again we will ensure those uh, transactions at some point thank you very much make it a great day bye